renegade campsite worked out pretty good. <laughs> Morning. I am gonna go for a little walk down this end of the beach, way down there. <clears throat> At least uh, that's where I think I'm gonna get the cell coverage that I need. Black bear tracks. That's great. Ah, now it's working. I won't go out there though. <laughs> right here, you should try it. Got one bar. Let's see. <sighs> yeah, I was telling Bobby how much I want a Starlink. I was like, man, I had not spent a thousand dollars on my van just now. Probably could have bought Starlink, but the van was a stretch. Way over what I expected it would cost. Why is it not connecting? Still not enough up here. I, I gotta keep hiking down that way to the, that end of the beach. Got good and foggy while I was sitting there. <laughs> I finished what I was trying to do. Video's up. Okay, I'm gonna take uh, Bobby and Diane down to Botanical Beach. Um, I'm just showing them something kind of cool while they're out visiting this area. Every day, I feel like my feet just start to move without moving. Pretty cool, eh? Oh, it is so incredible. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to a place like this. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty far out. Shed some layers. Yeah. Ah, the water's calm, you guys. I feel like I should have brought my dive gear down because it looks like it would be able to slip in there really easily. There's no swell. It's just, we're gonna go have a look at it. I just brought the GoPro on the stick because I was like, I'm just gonna show these guys. But maybe I'll come back here while I'm visiting this area. I'm thinking about sticking around. I'll uh, see what the wind's like. Maybe come down here and slip in the water. Just film it. No fishing, no harvesting, none of that stuff is allowed here, but uh, it'd be pretty cool to get in there and actually like explore this underwater side of it. That's what a lot of people come here for too, just look in the tide pools. Thank you. 
somebody had the right idea. So I'm gonna go get my dive gear and uh, hop in the water. Seeing that other person snorkeling, I was just like, yeah, I really gotta check this out. I've come across this sort of thing before and I believe these are a possum shrimp. The bigger ones are about an inch long. Aside from the large clouds of shrimp, I'm noticing just how many urchins are in the area. This site is known as an urchin barren. There's so many urchins here. This kelp has barely got a chance. Ooh, no starfish either. Without predation from starfish and sea otters, their numbers grow and eventually they consume all the kelp in the area. I felt grateful to be able to explore the area and see everything that's happening here. And at the same time, I couldn't help but feel a sense of eeriness about the place. I don't know if it was because of the fog or just the darkness of the dive itself, but it definitely had an eerie feel about it. Fish chowder, making some chowder. Ooh. Ooh. Don't spill it. it. Smells good.
potatoes, carrots, onions, and celery too. Clam juice. This one. There we go. There's Bobby over there. Doing his thing. Huh. Just fan life and just like me. The leftovers right there. Save that for later. It's probably equivalent to like two of these bowls, which are perfect. The clam is chewy. Yeah. Yeah. Too chewy. Bowl number two. It's pretty good. The clams are chewy though. So I took the clams out. I think they're like cooked in the can and then they're cooked even more in that. So they just became like this rubbery stuff that was no good. But the flavor is appreciated. Just said bye to those folks. Um, they're here for a couple nights. I just want to go somewhere where I think I can get cell service and try to connect with my daughter. I just, uh, it's been a couple days and I, I miss her, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that. Just got some garbage to throw. Might as well do it here. Yeah, that's a racket. <gasps> that's beautiful. Because it's so loud, I doubt that that's going to be on all night long. <laughs> Good morning. I'm, uh, <clears throat> just got a call from a friend. He's like, asking me if I'm going to this, um, dive meetup cookout thing. I was like, oh, is it today? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So I'm gonna go to that. It's just uh, just down the road a bit. It's in Souk. So I guess I'm driving back down that way. Um, at least I want to. Uh, I'm, I just wanna go meet some new people and uh, other divers. And it's a good opportunity to do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that this morning. Just missed a call. Oh, hey, honey. Hey, hon. There you are. Hi. Um, hmm. Let me guess. What? That was awesome, man. That was so, so rad to have a call with my daughter. I actually drove here last night because I wanted to connect with her and we didn't have a call yesterday. So, um, 
that was pretty cool to get one this morning. It was right after my call with Fred, so I'm gonna hit the road, uh, go down towards this uh, place. Um, I think it's down in Souk. I'm not sure. Um, he's, I still gotta reconnect with him when I get back into cell service and down that way and figure out where I'm going exactly, but. <clears throat> New spot to dive for the day um, and maybe make some friends and so so that's what I'm gonna do don't know if I'm gonna roll the camera a whole lot but I'll uh, certainly roll it when I get in the water I just feel a little bit like I don't, I don't like filming too much when I'm around lots of people because it takes away from the personal interactions that are going on and uh, then it's about making a video for YouTube which is it's good but um, I prefer doing that sort of stuff when I'm on my own Anyway, um, <clears throat> this was a good spot. I think I'd like to come back here um, and maybe uh, see if I can find my way down to the ocean. The parking spot there's already a few people hiking down so I'm gonna grab my gear and hike down as well I don't recognize any of these people so I'm probably not gonna be throwing this camera up in anybody's faces but we'll go in the water we'll check out the um, <clears throat> check out the water check out the water imagine that place it's also like a little concrete path going all the way out there onto the rock Bring the spear gun with me could be fishy um i got a little bit of rockfish left not too much though maybe just a couple fillets so uh so yeah see if i can get a little bit more anyway i'm gonna grab my gear Diving with Larissa was actually a lot of fun because she didn't know how to identify the different species of fish. So I had the opportunity to point out the various fish in the area with her directly and help her get a sense of what those were. Eventually we found a green link together which gave her an opportunity to have a try at one of them. And that was a miss. That fish there is a lingcod. However, in British Columbia they need to be a minimum size of 65 centimeters long before you're allowed to harvest one. So far, I haven't found one that has been over that size limit, and it's one of those things when you're spearfishing that you really need to be sure before you pull the trigger. Cruising along like this, I think, is a British Columbia thing. I haven't seen too many other spear fishermen fish this way, but in BC, you're often looking for a fish that's a standstill, camouflage right to the rock, and sometimes you'll see a greenling or something swim by.
At this point I decided to put the gun away and just do some filming. There's a lot of really cool creatures in this area and I figured I might as well just show you guys around because it is pretty fascinating. There's a lot of really interesting colors and all that sort of thing. Quite a group showed up. So I cooked it last because it's a little bit tougher, and then that's also that's some belly, so it's going to be pretty fishy. This, this is one that you just caught? No, no, no. What I caught yesterday is still in the, in the cooler. I got home, I went straight to bed, I got up, I came here. After dive snack. Thank you, Ocean. Thank you, Fred. Oh yeah, you already carved one up, eh? Yeah, there you go. The row? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's nice to have scissors. Yes, that's that. way better than the right front row. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a big red one, eh? Yeah, that works really well. I've been meaning to get a pair of those. They're like cheap $20 diving scissors, right? I was, yeah, just like first aid diving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I filleted the fish down here. That way, I'm not bringing all the rest of it up to the van. And uh, so, there you go. That's that fishing lure that I found. <laughs> This is the same kind that I'm hanging from the dash inside my van, so uh, it's pretty cool that I found one of these. It's missing an eye, but... And then uh, Fred just gave me a, a wetsuit top. He didn't have the bottoms for it, but this is a five millimeter Epsilon suit. And he says uh, this one should fit me. So I'm gonna try this one out in um, some of the warmer water that I get into like in the lakes and stuff like that. This will be a little bit more comfortable because the seven millimeter is just really, really warm in the lakes. Cool colors too, I like that. It's nice and bright. It was a pretty short swim actually. Uh, went out with this uh, girl at first. We were diving together. And she, uh, she got cold pretty quick. She was from Australia. So she's used to diving in much warmer water that the visibility is better. Um, anyway, it was kind of fun to dive with her though. She was uh, pretty comfortable in the water too. It was just, uh, yeah, she just got cold quick. There was that one boulder, I think I dropped down on it once or twice. Well, I discovered it on one, at the end of one drop and then I 
dropped onto it as one with all the anemones and there's some fish underneath it. I wanted to go down a second time because there's a nice green laying down there, but I'm happy with what I got. Um, I should put that in the fridge. Actually, oh yeah. And I got the, the fishing lure. Basically the same thing. So that's, uh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, stick them up here somewhere. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right like that for now. Kind of works. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna think about where I'm going actually.